Now to a heartbreaking update to a story we first told you about yesterday on Action News. A lifeguard with the Cape May Beach Patrol has died following a boating incident earlier this week. Norman and Ferrara III was just 16. Katie Catro has more. The Cape May community is mourning the loss of that 16 year old lifeguard. They say gone too soon. Norman had a dream as a young child to be a lifeguard and he worked really, really hard over the last two years to make that a reality for himself and he, he, he did it this year. 16 year old Norman and Ferreira, a new lifeguard with Cape May Beach Patrol has died after a routine patrol off the coast. The city of Cape May says in Ferreira was rowing a lifeguard boat in the ocean Thursday when the boat was broadsided by a wave and flipped over. And Ferreira was knocked unconscious. Fellow lifeguards ran out to try and save one of their own, performing CPR on the shore. Just had a very unfortunate accident. The incident happened off Redding Avenue Beach around 11 a.m., according to Cape May's Beach Patrol Chief Harry Back, who says he hired in Ferreira. He loved coming to work with a smile on his face every day and he was dedicated. In Ferreira was in a coma at Cooper University Hospital in Camden, New Jersey after he was injured while on the job before he passed. Today, flags were lowered to half staff outside Beach Patrol headquarters. An honorary memorial bunting was draped outside, some bringing flowers and wearing clothing in honor of in Ferreira. The city's mayor says this is a very difficult time for this closely knit community. We're right on the Atlantic Ocean. It's always dangerous. So for people who want to protect others, um, you know, you, you need a certain passion to do that, and, and Norman clearly had that. The city's manager says in Ferreira was from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, and he says neighboring beach towns have been helping cover shifts as staff take time to grieve. As far as I know, we've never ever had an incident like this in the city of Cape May. So we are mourning dearly. Counselors are being made available to other lifeguards as they take this time to grieve. Reporting in Cape May, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News.